Hi everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10. Civil War Gold In 2018, an agent with the Federal Bureau of Investigation applied for a federal warrant. The warrant was to seize a legendary trove of government gold that was supposedly stolen over a century ago during the Civil War. Treasure hunters believe the FBI made off with the gold and hid it in a cave in Pennsylvania, then covered the whole thing up. As weird as all this sounds, it's true. According to the Associated Press and the Philadelphia Inquirer, a federal judge unsealed the case documents to show that the FBI had indeed gone in search of the legendary lost gold. The FBI believed there was a significant cache of gold, more than one or two tons, secretly hidden underground in this alleged cave. The reason the FBI had needed a warrant was because they were worried that the federal government would excavate the site before them, then steal the gold for themselves. It was a bureaucratic mess, and one that was apparently fruitless. Nobody ever found the gold, which for the record was allegedly stolen on its way to the U.S. Mint in Philadelphia in 1863. Historians believe it was a secret society of Confederate sympathizers called the Knights of the Golden Circle who pulled off the heist. But in the end, we don't actually know if the U.S. Mint was in fact robbed, if the gold was ever stashed in a cave, or if the FBI found it and then lied about it to keep it all for themselves. Number 9. Lake Guatavita Lake Guatavita in Colombia is one of the most mysterious places in the whole country. According to the Spanish chronicler Francisco López, the conquistadors first heard of the lake while in Panama. They heard of a strange location in the mountains that was so rich in gold that men would get bored of it. This turned out to be Lake Guatavita, high up in the plains surrounding what is now the city of Bogotá. At the time, in 1537, the area was occupied by the Muisca people. Their leader was Panquiaco, or the Golden One, which translated to Spanish as El Dorado. The lake was the holiest site for these indigenous inhabitants, and they believed it was filled with gods. To satisfy these gods, they would throw all of their most precious gold trinkets into the water. And so, 1537 was the beginning of a gold rush that would go on for 375 years. Because the Muisca had been tossing gold and treasure into the lake for generation after generation, the Spanish knew the bottom must be covered in treasure. There was an attempt made in 1652 by Antonio Sepulveda to dig a discharge canal to completely drain the lake, but it didn't work. English adventurers came and also tried to dive to the bottom, as did the Germans. And then in 1912, the government tried to drain the lake using new technology. But as far as we know, the treasure is still down there, and nobody has been able to find it. Although there are still some conspiracies that say the government did find it and simply kept it all for themselves back in the early 20th century. Number 8. The Most Ancient Crown Back in 1961, an Israeli archaeologist named Pesa Bar Adon accidentally found a massive hoard of ancient relics. Among these relics was what researchers say is the oldest crown in the entire world. It happened while Bar Adon was rappelling down a sheer cliff in the Nahal Mishmar region of the Dead Sea. He came across a cave that was like something out of Aladdin, an actual cave of wonders. Inside the dark confines of the cavern were over 400 prized artifacts made from ivory, copper, and bronze. These fantastic treasures dated back to the Copper Age, or around 3500 BC, but possibly even earlier. But by far, the most spectacular treasure of all was the crown, dated at 6,000 years old. It doesn't look like your typical crown, and it certainly wasn't studded with an assortment of diamonds and jewels. It's merely a circular piece of copper with what appear to be vultures decorating it, and some horn-like protrusions along the top. It definitely would have been imposing 6,000 years ago, but it doesn't look like much now. There was even a matching bronze scepter with similar antler-like protrusions. In the end, the treasure hoard still remains a mystery. Nobody knows why anyone would stick so many priceless goods into a cavern, or who wore this fabulous crown. Number 7. Mosby's Treasure There is said to be a treasure of immense value hidden in the forest of Fairfax County, Virginia. The treasure was worth $350,000 when it was buried in the 1800s. 
Today, it would be worth over $6 million. It all started with John Mosby, a Confederate partisan ranger, also known as the Grey Ghost for his lightning-fast raids and his ability to elude pursuers from the Union Army. It was in 1863 that Mosby took command over the 43rd Battalion Virginia Cavalry. These men were trained in guerrilla warfare. They didn't fight on the front lines, but instead snuck into camps at night to take prisoners and steal spoils. One of these raids was conducted on March 9, 1863. Mosby and his group of men raided the Fairfax County Courthouse in the middle of the night. And that was where they found $350,000 in gold and jewelry, a collection of countless heirlooms that had been taken by Union troops from homes in the South. Mosby and his team of rangers quietly left Fairfax, but on their way back to friendly territory, they came across a large detachment of enemy soldiers. To keep the treasure safe, Mosby and his most trusted sergeant left their detachment and buried the treasure under a tree. But that treasure was never seen again, at least not officially. Some say the sergeant double-crossed Mosby and went back to steal the gold, while others say Union soldiers found the hiding place. Some even say it's still buried there, but no one knows for sure. And now for number six, but first want to give a big shout out to Says Who and Leon Welch. Thanks so much for watching and spending time with us. If you are new here, welcome and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Number six, Victorio Peak Treasure. There is a great towering mountain in New Mexico called Victorio Peak, not far from the city of Hot Springs. It's here where one of the most famous treasures in the United States is supposedly hidden. Back in November of 1937, Milton Doc Noss, a local deer hunter, went in search of fresh water. That was when he found the entrance to a mysteriously hidden tunnel near the mountain's peak. Even stranger was that he found an old ladder that someone had placed there before, and it led deep into a cavern in the mountain. Deep inside, he found a chest filled with silver coins. But that wasn't all. There were passageways leading to other caverns, and almost every cave had chests full of gold and jewels. It was just too incredible to believe. Gold and diamonds and jewels weren't the only things Milton found inside those passages. He also came across dozens of human skeletons. He never learned who had been in the mountain before him, but soon after the discovery, he established legal ownership over the land and secured mining rights. He ended up extracting at least 200 gold bars from the cave, although there are said to be over 16,000 total. But then Milton started to go a little insane. He allegedly hid the gold bars all over the New Mexico desert. Then in 1939, he accidentally caused a collapse inside the mountain using dynamite, sealing himself out of his own mine. Milton was murdered in 1949, and over the next three years, friends and family tried desperately to find the gold he'd stashed in the desert to no avail. In 1952, the United States Army took ownership of the collapsed mine and forced the Noss family off their own land. It's believed to this very day that the Army found out about the gold, moved in to steal it, and illegally pillaged that family's property. Number 5. Island of Gold in the Musi River of Indonesia, local divers recently discovered a small collection of artifacts. They came across gold rings in the muck of the riverbed, as well as precious beads and other unbelievable artifacts. The entire riverbed was found to be practically covered in jewels, and these jewels are old. By old, I'm talking over 1,300 years ago from the 7th century AD. Researchers believe the artifacts at the bottom of the river likely belong to the Srivijaya Empire and that they may have come from a mysterious lost island of gold. According to British maritime archaeologist Sean Kingsley, divers have been finding bits and pieces of the city for the last five years. Coins from different periods, statues of the Buddha, gems and lots of treasure. Precious metals, temple bells, wine jugs, brilliantly made flutes shaped like peacocks, and so much more. All of this stuff would have likely been in the city of Palembang, located on the island of Sumatra and situated on the Musi River. Historical records from 7th century China say that there were over 1,000 Buddhist monks living here and that it was a popular pilgrimage site for people on their way to India. However, war in 1025 with the Chola dynasty of India reduced this once powerful nation to dust, 
and the city of Palembang decayed and was swallowed by the river. Now it looks like the priceless treasure that once made this city rich is bubbling back to the surface. Although, unfortunately, no official archaeological excavations have been conducted, and as of right now, this site is a free-for-all. Unconfirmed reports claim that fishermen and greedy treasure thieves descend on the river at night and are making away with these small fortunes in gems and artifacts. Number 4. Nazi Gold in Lake Toplitz In the dead mountains of Austria, about 40 miles from the city of Salzburg, lies Lake Toplitz. It's inaccessible for roughly five months of the year because of the freezing conditions. And according to some, the bottom of the lake is littered with Nazi gold. Depending on who you ask, there is some kind of underwater dragon guarding the gold since many who go searching for it end up dead. We know that in 1944, the German Navy established a testing station on the shores of the lake, testing things like torpedoes and weapons. In 1945, the locals began trying to cash British banknotes. It was crazy because these people had no real access to British currency, yet everyone and their dog was suddenly loaded with British cash. An investigation revealed that they had gotten the money from the banks of the lake, where it was washing up like soggy leaves. This led to some speculation over what else might be hiding in the lake. Clearly, the Nazis had dumped some kind of treasure into the water. It was later assumed that the Nazis had dumped a huge gold reserve from the Reichsbank as well. Not just banknotes, but solid gold and platinum, famous works of art, and jewelry. Many covert missions to discover the treasure came and went over the years. A team of Navy divers tried it in 1947, but one of them drowned. And since then, as far as we know, there hasn't been any gold found. Number 3. The Treasure of Robinson Crusoe Island Robinson Crusoe Island is a remote piece of land in Chile protected by UNESCO as a special biosphere reserve. This is really hampering a Dutch millionaire's plans for digging up a massive treasure worth roughly $10 billion. His name is Bernard Kaiser, a Dutch American who has been searching for treasure on Robinson Crusoe Island since 1998. The island was named when the Scottish explorer Alexander Selkirk became marooned in the 18th century, his story later inspiring the famous novel Robinson Crusoe. But the legend of the island goes back even further to 1715, when English pirate Cornelius Webb supposedly buried a stolen treasure from Peru on the island. An estimated 800 barrels of gold ingots, gems, silver, and more and it's all sitting on the island waiting to be discovered. At least this is the legend. Bernard Kaiser has been looking for the treasure for 20 years, and up until now he's been prohibited from using heavy machinery. This means that he could only use shovels and brushes to look for the gold. But now the Chilean government gave him permission to use heavy diggers to rip the island apart to find the treasure once and for all. Many Chileans believe the government has done this because they have made a shady backroom deal to take half the money for themselves. Number 2. The Oak Island Mystery The Oak Island Mystery is either one of the biggest unsolved mysteries ever, an elaborate hoax, or a really weird coincidence. Oak Island is in the Canadian province of Nova Scotia, and ever since the 18th century, people have been trying to find treasure on the island. Some say pirates buried treasure there, some say the Holy Grail is hidden on the island, and others say the Ark of the Covenant is there, brought across the world by the Knights Templar nearly a thousand years ago. The biggest discovery was a mysterious stone inscribed with an illegible cipher in a nonsense language at the end of the 18th century. It was translated in 1865 to say, 40 feet below, 2 million pounds are buried. And ever since, people have been digging in the exact same spot trying to get to the promised gold at the bottom. It's called the Money Pit, and it's an absolute nightmare to try and dig. The issue is that after a certain amount of digging, the hole fills with seawater and there is no way of stopping it. This has made it nearly impossible to dig anything good out, and six people have so far died trying to reach a treasure that may or may not even be down there. Number 1. The Amber Room the Amber Room is one of the few enduring mysteries of World War II. The Amber Room was considered the eighth wonder of the world and was a treasured Russian artifact. 
It was an actual room sculpted by the German artist Andrea Schluter in 1701. Amber was used to coat every last surface of the room, infused with honey and linseed. Then the wooden panels of the room were covered in gold or silver leaf and decorated with dazzling precious jewels. It was a truly monumental and valuable accomplishment. The room was a Russian treasure up until 1941 when Hitler's forces entered St. Petersburg, back then known as Leningrad. The Amber Room was disassembled, put in boxes, and never seen again. To this day, nobody has any idea what happened to it. Some say it was put on a train and brought to a secret cave in Poland, whose location has since been lost. Some say American soldiers found the room and stole the treasure. And still others say it was put on a U-boat that sank and is currently sitting at the bottom of the ocean. Thanks for watching! Which of these treasures is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time! Bye!